this as a quick follow-up video to show you how to set up the remote debugging in Visual Studio Code. I never really use Visual Studio Code, that's why I did my initial setup in PyCharm, but it's just as easy to do in, in Visual Studio Code here. So let's go ahead and get started. And a big thanks to Campbell on the Moose Discord server for pointing out it also works in Visual Studio Code. The first thing we need is our Emilua plugin in here as well. So if you just come down to the extensions tab here, search for Emilua and install that. That's the first thing we need. Then let's open our folder that we created. So that for me, that was TCS scripting. And we're also going to attach our scripts folder from the install directory. So add folder to workspace. And let's find that. So in my program files, Eagle Dynamics, TCS World, Open Beta, and Scripts. Let's add in this folder as well. Um, then let's set up our debugger. So if you come to Run and Debug, if you already have your Visual Studio Workspace open and you already have a launch.json file, uh, you can just hit Run and Debug. And that will bring up the, the menu to pick a new debugger. If you don't have that, like I just did, because I just opened the folder, click on this uh, create a launch JSON file thing. It's going to ask you where you want to put that file. Uh, for me, I'm just going to put it in the root directory of our folder. And then it's going to ask you what type of debugger you want to make. We want to make a Emilua new debugger. That will open the launch.json file. Uh, so in here, we can give this a nicer name. Let's call this DCS debugger. And then what we want to change is we don't want the IDE to connect to the debugger, but we want um, the debugger visual, uh, DCS to connect to Visual Studio Code. So we want to set this to false, hit Control S to save. The next thing we are going to need to do is make sure that our mission scripting file is set up to launch the debugger on mission start. So let's come down to mission scripting. And I will uh, add the following lines in the description of the video as well. But based in these lines, basically what this does is just adding the path to the plugin to our uh, Lua path and then running the debugger. So what you will need to do on your end, unless your name is also Niels, change this thing out or change this part out for the name of the user on your computer, of course. Let's hit save on that. And yes, let's retry as an administrator. So now we have this set up and we should actually be good to go to test this in DCS. Um, let's come down to Moose and back to the change that we made. Uh, which was not in here, it was in development. We added a add numbers function here to utils. Uh, let's add a breakpoint here and then go to DCS to set up our mission. Actually add a uh, breakpoint <laughs> and then go to DCS to set up our mission. All right, so in DCS, let's uh, make a new mission, add a new trigger uh, on mission start, and let's call this load moose. Uh, and just like before, we're just going to do one line of code, and that is do file, and the file that we're going to run is our moose dynamic loader. So let's add this. Uh, we should be good to go to test this now. So back in Visual Studio Code, uh, we now have a debugger. Let's run this. You can see at the bottom right here, it's waiting for a connection. And now when we start our mission in DCS, uh, we should see it connect to Visual Studio Code. So let's run this. No need to save. So now it connected, as you can see here. Um, and then let's or run our add numbers function here. And as you can see, DCS, I'm trying to move the map around and I can't because the, the game is halted. And in Visual Studio Code, you can see that uh, we are connected. We are on this line right here. And in the variables um, window here, you can have, we can see the variables, the local variables for this function, as well as everything from our environment and everything that is loaded, that is loaded in the mission. So let's step through the code here. Press F10 to go to the next line. So now result is a new variable that has been created and has been assigned. And we can see it up here as well. We can see it in here what the value is. So give it a try. I hope it helps. And if you run into any problems, come let me know and I'll try to help you out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.